and welcome back to the next part of part seven epic next.js tutorial in this video we're going to continue to build out our summary ai application as you could see here on the screen we are logged in as other user and we have two items displaying but this shouldn't be the case because if you could see only one item belongs to other user while the other item belongs to test user so we're going to use strapi's route middleware to allow us to make sure that we only allow authorized user to get their own data first. So let's start by creating our is owner middleware. You could check out the complimentary blog post that we have available here, but we're going to jump in right into the code and walk through the process together. So let's do it. We're going to use our command line interface tool to create our middleware. You could read more about it in the documentation. In our case, we're going to use strapi generate command to create our middleware. So let's jump into it. Make sure that you are in the back end of your project and we're going to start by running yarn strapi generate. When you click enter, it's gonna go ahead and run the command and we're going to navigate to middlewares. We're going to create a middleware and we're going to call it is owner. And let's click enter. Now it's gonna ask us where would we like to generate this middleware? And we might use this is owner on multiple collection types, even though right now we only have the summary. So let's go ahead and click add middleware to root project. Once it's done, you'll be able to open your VS code. You will see in the source, we have this middlewares folder. If we take a look and we'll see our is owner.js file that we just created, which has basic boilerplate. In the blog post that's associated with this tutorial, you'll find a link in the description below. You're going to see the snippet for our is owner middleware. Let's go ahead, copy it and replace it here in our code. Scroll to the top and we're going to quickly take a look at what this middleware does. Whenever someone makes a request, we're going to check if there's an entry ID that they're looking up. We're also going to check on CTX state user, which will have our logged in user. So if the user is logged in, this will return the user information from state and we're just gonna get that user ID. So the first thing we're doing is we're checking if there's no user ID, we're just gonna say you can't access this entry and we're gonna return unauthorized message. If we continue here, here we are checking the API that we're using. So in this case, if we make a request to summaries, this is going to get the summaries ID, which we're going to apply here. And so that way we are going to always have the ID of the collection type that we're trying to find. And we're gonna go ahead and search for that entry. And once we have the entry, we're gonna check, does the user ID match the locked in user ID? If the user ID on the entry that we found doesn't match, that means it's not our entry. So let's say you can't access this entry and return an error message. And here we're checking if there is no entry ID, that means instead of making a find one call, someone is looking for all the items. And so what we want to do, we don't want to return all the items. We just want to return the items that are associated to that user. And that is why here we're filtering all the items by user ID. And you'll see this in action once we implement it. Now for this middleware to work, we need to go into our source and the collection type that we want to use it in, we're going to find it in API and we're going to go to summaries and we want to go into the routes folder. And here in the summaries, we already added a previous middleware that we want to use that runs on create. So we're going to add additional configuration to hook up our is owner middleware to this summary controller. So after create here, we're going to add a middleware for find, find one, update and delete. We are referencing our middleware that we just created and it's prefaced with global because it is in the root of our project. If you ever try to figure out how to look up the name, the easy way to do this is by running this command here and you could run yarn strappy middlewares list command. This is gonna go ahead and return the list of all the middlewares and if you scroll, you should be able to find all the middlewares, including the one that we just created. So if you are wondering how I was able to find this UI ID is by running the previous command. Now that we have our routes set up, let's restart our Strapi application and see if we're getting both entries or only getting the entry tied into that user. 
So I'm going to start yarn develop to start an application. And cur currently, I didn't refresh yet. So this is still showing both entries, one for our other user and test user. But after applying our middleware, when I hit refresh, it should only get the entry for the other user. So let's see if that works. And after we refresh, we don't see any of the summary. So what's going on here? So let's take a look here in our middleware. Notice how we're filtering on the user. Because we're filtering on the user, we need to enable that endpoint in our Strapi application. So let's navigate to our Strapi admin area, go to settings, roles, under authenticated, let's scroll down to user's permission, and here we're going to enable find one and find. Click save, and now let's try that again. Now when I refresh, notice we're only getting one item, and we're getting the item that is responsible for this user, which is pretty awesome. So now we only are getting entries that we are authorized to get. For instance, in my admin, back in content manager on the summaries, if I manually change this entry to belong to our test user and save, when we go back to our front end and refresh, now we're gonna show no entries found because it now belongs to a different user. If I change it back to our other user and click save and refresh, now we have our entry. And because of our is owner middleware, now when we delete entries or update summaries, we are only going to do it to entries that we are the owner of. But we do have one more issue. If we take a look under settings, roles, under authenticated, users permission, we're exposing find one and find user endpoints as well as update. This means that anyone who's authenticated to this endpoint, they're able to update, find one, find all the entries for all the users. So now we have to create a new middleware that's going to only allow authorized users to find only their own user data and update only their user data. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video.